Hi friends, in today's video we are going to see an important topic in Dynamics 365 which is batch disposition codes. So we have a lot to cover in today's video. So we'll quickly get into this video. If you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting videos, articles and documents related to Dynamics 365. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile, right? So first of all, what is batch disposition code in Dynamics 365? The batch disposition codes are generally controlling the behavior of the batches to indicate whether each batch, uh, you, whenever you are in a manufacturing or in a, or in a distribution environment where you will have materials available in different batches, right? So how you want these batches to be used in case of your master planning reservations or you do you want to block the picking and shipping of a specific batches? How do you control the behavior of the batches? That's what is possible using the concept of batch disposition codes in Dynamics 365. So, so first we will see how to create a batch disposition codes and what is the setup for that. So in order to do that, in order to create a batch disposition code, navigate to um, inventory management module and then uh, in the setup, you have batch disposition master. So uh, I have already recently created a batch disposition code, which I will delete it. I'll try to create a new one. So in order to create a new one, click on new and then uh, give a batch disposition code um uh, and then uh, and then you need to give a description i'll just type the same and uh, we have three and the most important part part here is the bash disposition status so bash disposition status defines how you want to control the behavior of the batch in terms of sales production and in your transfers and in master planning so once you select available by default, all the reservations or every blocking is is disabled and the batch is available for all of your reservations, picking and shipping, right? And the uh, only thing is if netable is enabled, then this batch, the available batch will be considered for your replenishment months whenever the master planning is is going to run and uh, plan for your replenish months. So, but the moment when I select unavailable, all these toggles will be enabled. We'll see that so once i select enable unavailable uh, you can see all the toggles related to sales production and transfer are enabled and uh, these basically if you if we want to get into detail under sales production and transfer you can block the reservations wherever the reservation happens and in case of your uh, uh, sales orders or purchase orders those specific batch level reservations are not possible in case of sales and uh, if you are doing picking in case of picking list generation, then uh, those specific batches will not be able, will not be, you will not be able to pick it. And in case of shipping, you will not be able to ship those specific batches. So I can even control like, okay, the user should be allowed to reserve a batch, pick a batch, and the user should not be able to ship a specific batch. That can be based on the base, uh, company specific requirements. So you can have, you can bring absolute control over the respective processes. So production also you can control the blocking of picking and also you can control the blocking of picking list journal posting and uh, the same time at the transfer also you have same scenarios block reservation block picking block shipping. So you basically control the behavior of the batches though maybe a batch contain 10,000 quantity 10,000 mm -hmm. items. How do you control the behavior of those batches that can be done by using the batch disposition master right. That's why we are creating a batch disposition code. And now this batch disposition codes need to be assigned to the batch numbers. How do we do that? That is our second point. How to reset the batch disposition codes in the existing batches. Let's say I have thousands of batches. How do we assign this batch disposition code to those batches? So in order to do that, go to Varos management and then uh, the setup. If you go to um, inventory, then click on batches, right? So now let's say we have batches um batch numbers all the batch numbers which are in the system are available over here if i want let's say i want these specific batches which are under the batch disposition code available and unavailable and i want to change these batches to the batch disposition code which we created so under reset if you go to reset batch disposition code click on the drop down and you will see the batch disposition code which we created 
click on BDC01 and then hit the OK button. So this will completely reset the batch disposition codes for the selected batches and all the selected batches you can see it is now reassigned and all the selected batches batch numbers will behave based on the setup which we have configured over here right so even if you want you can change the setups as per requirement let's say i just don't want these batches to be picked for production but I, it's fine for me for these batches to be used or reserved and picked in case of sales and transfers so this batch is blocked for reservation in production but it is not blocked for sales order reservations so this is how you create a batch disposition code and uh, you can reset the batch disposition code for the batch numbers so that will control the behavior of your batch numbers available in your inventory right so that is our second point the third point is how to assign batch disposition codes to the items let's say not for a specific batch but i want to always in complete the GRN for this particular item 0309 with the batch disposition code BDC-01. How to do that? In order to do that, actually you need to get into the release products. Under release products, you need to navigate to the item model group because in the item model group, you can control the batch disposition code which need to be used. So the, we have under the inventory policy section, we have batch disposition code. So you can select BDC-01. So whenever we complete the GRN for this item 0309.23, find. So for this item number, when we complete the GRN, by default, the batch disposition code for the batch numbers created will be the batch. I, I, I know it sounds a bit confusing, but I'll tell you with a proper GRN, I will also make you understand this because this is an important concept in d 3 by c batch dispersion code which we have assigned is bdc01 so uh, let me quickly create a purchase order for this um, if i go to accounts payable so any grn which we do for this specific item and uh, if a batch number is generated those batch numbers will have the batch disposition code bdc-01 so that is the correct statement mm -hmm. So, because if I say that, instead of saying it, if I try to do that, probably you will be able to understand it much better. So now I'll try to create a purchase order. Mm. I'm just creating the purchase order right now in order to make you understand about this batch disposition code, how it gets fetched from the item model group. So I'll just quickly create a purchase order. Then uh, I'll add that item. Uh, so i think it is taking time okay now the purchase order is created now for this item let's say i'm going to do 400 quantity okay then uh, so the item order is coming because of big surprise from trade agreement i'll put a quantity you want to change update the net amount i'll hit the save button then uh, okay actually the workflow is involved in this case it may take time so i'll just see if there is any existing uh, no i think i should i should have disabled the budget workflow uh, let me do that i don't want the workflow in this case and then disable active change management then hit the ok button i'll add the same item then uh, say I'm going to do a GRN for thousand quantity mm, price I am changing it then uh, purchase I'll confirm this purchase order so now I am going to confirm this purchase order and then once I confirm I need to complete the GRN right so when I complete the GRN for this item the batch numbers will be generated automatically based on the batch number groups so if i have also published a video on how to how, the, how to automatically generate batch number groups if you have not checked out please check out the same and uh, when the batch numbers are generated automatically the batch disposition codes which are assigned are basically taken from our item model group so i'll just give a reference to four one then I'll go to update line. Then I'll click on registration. 
So inside the registration page also, you can reset the batch dispersion codes. I'll add the registration line. Let's say I'm doing the registration for 10 quantity. Confirm the registration. And then uh, once I confirm the registration, the batch numbers are automatically generated. So for this batch number, USP0001, the batch dispersion code is actually assigned as BDC, which we have tagged in the item model group FIFO. And that particular item model group is actually tagged to this item. So whatever the item created with the item model group FIFO, the batch disposition codes will be taken as BDC-01, right? So this is how we control the behavior of the item. So here also I will be able to reset the batch. Let's say after creating the batch disposition code, I can multi-select the items, then click on reset batch. And here also I can make it as available. And then I'll click on OK button. So here also I can reset the batch disposition code. So that's the whole idea of batch disposition code in Dynamics 365. Also, the most importantly, how to view the and track the changes. Let's say I have made multiple changes of batch disposition code to the batch number. So how do I track it? So in order to do that, if you go to inventory management, um, I think uh, under PR, under inquiries and reports, I think. So batches, batch disposition history. So if I go to batch disposition history, yeah, it is asking me to cancel the update. Yes, because we have not completed the GR and we have just completed the registration. So, but we have not completed the GR and that's why system is asking us. So, I will, I may need to cancel this page. I think that is a delay in response anyway. But the idea is, I'll just refresh this page. So, the idea is, you can also view the and track the changes from the path which I showed you right now in the inventory management, uh, the inventory management in the inquiries and reports. If you navigate to batch disposition history, you can see all the changes which were previously what is the old batch disposition code and what is the new batch disposition code which we have modified. So you will be able to get an idea about it, right? So that's it for today's video. I know it's a bit longer. But you, I hope you got an idea about what is batch dispersion code, how it will control the behavior of the batches in Dynamics 365. Hope to see you in another interesting topic tomorrow. Thank you.